Hey, this is Dr. John Deloney with the Ramsey Network, starting this new crazy YouTube's channel. We've had some other videos here, but we're now cranking it out and we're running and gunning. Over the next few months, we're going to be talking about um, mental health issues, depression, anxiety, ADHD, relationship stuff, what's going on in your head, what's going on in your heart, what's going on in your marriage and your relationships with your parents, with your crazy kids. We've all been locked in the house with it. Um, with your teachers, education, all of it, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be digging in deep with this stuff. So if you want to ask me questions direct and I'll respond to you here on the show, you can email me at askjohn at ramseysolutions.com. Um, we're going to be taking live calls and we'll have some video feeds in here. So it's going to be an all cool thing. Make sure you subscribe. It's going to be rad. So I just did an event with Dr. Les Parrott and Rachel Cruz called the Money Marriage. And I added Mind Event. They just let me tag along as kind of the opener. And it was super rad, super cool. Thousands of people across the country. It kind of blew us all out of the water how many people signed up for this event. Um, but one of the things I talked about was this idea that we think in pictures and we speak in words. And man, I got a lot of feedback and people want me to dig into that a little bit more. So here's what we're going to talk about today. This idea, I stole it from William Glasser. He's one of the, the preeminent psychologists. Actually, he's a psychiatrist. Um, he passed away several years ago. He's a brilliant mind, a wonderful thinker. And he really distilled all the mental health crazy mumbo jumbo down to a couple of finite things. One of them is this. We think in pictures but we speak in words. And what happens is we end up talking past each other all the time. Um, I gave an example on the show the other night about relationships and having a date. Here's another example um, how it plays out in my house. Let's say, for instance, my wife Sheila calls and she says, hey man, uh, we got to talk tonight, dude. And you know, you get that feeling like you're like, oh gosh, what did I do? Um, we sit down and she kind of lays out, hey, here's who you've been the last few months. And I'm, I'm saying this because I love you but I need you to step up and be a better husband. And I hear her, she's right, man. I, I'm kind of crummy at this husband thing. I'm still trying to figure it out after almost 20 years. Um, but I'm like, you're right, I mean it. And so I hear the words, be a better husband. And I'm down, I'm gonna step up and do this. And so before I go to bed, I email several of my friends who are leaders at colleges across the country. And I just say, hey, um, can I pick up another adjuncting professor job? Can I teach a counseling class for you? Can I teach an education graduate class for you? And that's before I go to bed. And the next morning, I set my alarm for 4.45. I get up. I do my quick morning routine. I do my gratitude journal, my prayers, and then I'm out. I go to the gym. It, we're all pandemic lockdown right now, so I can't go to the gym. But I'm out in the neighborhood working out. And then I get home, and it's breakfast time. That's her world, man. And she, she's, my wife's a, so gifted at hospitality, at setting up an environment where people can connect with one another. That's her world. So I stay out of the kitchen. I stay out of the table. I hug my kids. I high five her. I just make sure I'm clear of her space. Because when she said, be a better husband, what I heard was, dude, you need to make some more money. You're kind of letting the old body go. So you gotta get, you gotta start working out, man. This is getting ridiculous. And um, I need you to give me my space. And where we miss each other is her picture, her idea of what a better husband looks like is somebody who's more present, who wears sweatpants and quits thinking about their body all the time because they're vain, and who will just sit down and have a cup of coffee and hang out with the family in the morning. And so I heard be a better husband. She said be a better husband. But our pictures of what a better husband is, whew, we just missed. We started asking each other every single morning, hey, what's your picture of today look like? or if we have an event, or a dinner, or a video shoot, or a birthday party, or a fishing trip, whatever it may be. That's become common language that we use multiple times every day. Hey, what's your picture of dinner look like tonight? Hey, we have this event with Ramsey on Friday night. What's the picture of that for me? And that way, she's not having to worry about all week what she's gonna wear, or I'm not having to worry about all week about what time we're gonna show up. I just know, because we then get on the same, pa on the same page about what the picture of the event's gonna look like. And so my challenge to you, to the people you interact with, and you can do this with your parents, you can do this with your workmates, with your bosses, with your wife, with your husband, whoever in your life, is just instead of saying, um, hey, be a better husband. I need you to step up here at work. I need you to be a better coach. Hey, kids, um, I need you just to quit being idiots. Um, stop being so lame. Dude, quit sucking. Like Whatever the thing is. Instead of doing that, just be real clear and say, hey, Here's my picture of what tonight's gonna look like. My picture of after the Little League game tonight is y'all gonna go home, take your bath, and you're gonna go all go to bed. Not, when we get home, we gotta hustle, kids. That doesn't mean anything to a seventh grader, right? So, here's the deal. We think in pictures and we speak in words. And my challenge to you is, start speaking in pictures. 
Start painting a picture for the people around you to be more clear and concise and direct. It gets everybody on the same page and you're all going the same direction. This is Dr. John Deloney. Um, don't forget, ask John at RamseySolutions.com. I love to hear from you. We'll answer some of your calls on this channel or I'm going to be calling you myself um, and we'll be taking some of the calls on this channel. We're going to be in the neighborhoods. We're going to be all over the place. Probably not. It sounds cool. We're probably going to be sitting in this chair most of the time. But we're going to talk about mental health, relationships, all of it. Parenting, schools, I don't know, firemen. We're not going to talk about firemen getting ripped because clearly, look at this. Look at this. All right. I will see you soon. Take care.